Why invest in residential assisted living? First, the numbers are compelling. Depending on your state, the national median cost of a assisted living facility is about $4,500 per month, with some areas exceeding $7,500 per month or more. Welcome to the Physicians and Properties Podcast. The show where we teach you how investing in real estate can give you the freedom to practice medicine and live life how you want. Doctor. 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 Now, here's your host, Dr. Alex Schlow. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Physicians and Properties podcast. As always, I'm your host, Dr. Alex Schlow, and today we are going to do something a little bit differently. This is going to be a solo episode. My primary focus for today's episode is two things. One, I want to talk about the power of community, the power of networking and masterminds, and I want to talk a bit about residential assisted living. First, I want to start with a little story. Back in 20, I started listening to a podcast called From Military to Millionaire, and they kept talking about the War Room Mastermind. At the time, this mastermind was $50 a month, $600 a year. I remember thinking, gosh, I don't know if I want to pay $50 a month to be in a mastermind. I knew a few folks who were in the mastermind, and I knew Dave, who started the mastermind. I knew they were incredible people, and I knew the potential of being in a mastermind, the potential of being surrounded by a community of like-minded investors. And in, in this case, military, either active duty military, retirees, or veterans is the only folks that are allowed in this group. So all Ultimately, I decided, you know what? Let's do it. It's $50 a month. What's the worst that can happen? So I joined this mastermind and it has been absolutely incredible. Just a quick snapshot, that $50 a month, or $600 a year led to me finding my two current partners, Charlie and Luke. And they are absolutely incredible dads, husbands, friends, and business partners. And I couldn't ask for better business partners. That would not have happened if it wasn't for the mastermind. Those partnerships, that opportunity, that mastermind had led to millions of dollars in single family homes, short-term rentals, residential assisted living. And I own a small piece of a boutique hotel. I mean, how cool is that? A hotel in the Smokies, I am a general partner. We've also had some syndications that we've invested in through the war room or through folks that we've met that have been adjacent to the war room. So this $50 a month investment, this $600 a year investment has completely changed the trajectory of my life, has completely changed my family's financial future for generations to come. And it's all because I was willing to join a community. Now, $50 is way too cheap and it's really hard to find a community that provides that kind of value, but the cost is not really what matters. What matters is the willingness to get into a network, get into a community of folks who have already done the thing that you're trying to do. They're looking to help you. They're looking to pull you up with them. That will lead to tons of different investment opportunities, capital raising opportunities, and you'll grow so much more as a person, as a husband, as a father, as a physician through these communities than you will outside of it. And you will get started so much faster. The, the beauty of being in a mastermind program is that you can leverage ETP, energy, time, and people. Those are all things that can be limited, especially the energy, especially the time as a physician. If you find the right people in the right network, that can give you both of those back. If you find the right partner, you're going to get time back. You're going to get energy back. You're going to love doing what you're doing. I just wanted to hit on that because we are going to talk a bit about the Rao Room Assisted Living Mastermind that Charlie, Luke, and I have created that's available if you're looking for a fantastic community of folks who are buying their first or their next residential assisted living home. That is an opportunity for you. But first, as always, I want to lead with some value. So let's talk a little bit more about residential assisted living. If you've listened to the podcast for quite some time, you've probably heard a bit about this before, but I encourage you to listen again. Let's start with the basics. What is residential assisted living? It's essentially a smaller, more personalized care model where assisted living care is provided in a home-like setting rather than a large, impersonal big box facility. We've all seen those before. These are typically large buildings where there's hundreds of residents, where the caregivers are running around like their hair's on fire, the place smells like urine and the caregivers are taking care of one to 30 residents or more. These homes are not that. They are designed to accommodate a handful of residents, typically in between six to 16 residents, depending on the state that you're investing in. And it offers them a high quality 
personalized care in a comfortable residential setting. Think about it. Most seniors would rather live in a home-like environment where they're able to be more independent and be more comfortable and better cared for than a large institutional setting, right? That's exactly what residential assisted living offers. There's over 70% of people who are going to need long-term care at some point in their lives. 70% of people will need long-term care at some point in their lives. I want you to think about this. The baby boomer generation is huge. Every day, 10,000 people are turning 65, and it's projected that there are 70 million baby boomers. If we take that 70 of the 70 million baby boomers, that leaves 59 million baby boomers who are gonna need long-term care at some point in their life. We are looking at a huge shortage in available assisted living beds right now, approximately a 1 million bed shortage, and we have not even hit the time where those baby boomers are aging into these assisted living homes. In fact, 2% of folks that live live in an assisted living home right now are part of the silent generation. Guys, it is incredibly important. Residential assisted living is an incredibly important and profitable investment. Why are you thinking about residential assisted living or why invest in residential assisted living? Well, let's talk a little bit about why this is such a game changer and a fantastic opportunity for investors. First, the numbers are compelling. Depending on your state, the national median cost of a assisted living facility is about $4,500 per month, with some areas exceeding $7,500. $500 per month or more. This all depends on what amenities you're offering, how nice your home is, where you're located, how many private beds you have or shared beds. There's a lot of things that weigh into this, but just think about your home generating $4,500 per month with 10 residents is $45,000 per month. Of course, $7,500 per month would be $75,000. This is just regular residential assisted living. This is not taking into account, for example, memory care homes, where sometimes that monthly rate is double, which is one well-run residential assisted living home, you're looking at a potential six figures of cash flow from a single home, 10 to $15,000 per month. That's right. Just one residential assisted living home can create financial freedom. And the best part is you're providing a much needed service to our aging population. Second, residential assisted living has such a lower caregiver to resident ratio, typically one to every five residents or so, compared to those commercial facilities with ratios of one to 15 or more. This means better care, better response time, more personalized approach for each residence. This is what families want for their loved ones and they're willing to pay for it. In fact, it's often cheaper for folks to live in a residential assisted living home than it is for one of these big box facilities. I know I would want this for my family member. It's a silver tsunami of opportunity that is coming with these residential assisted living homes and we want to be the face of it. We want to change the face of senior care in America and we're planning to do that. But here's the catch. Opening and running a residential assisted living home is not as simple as buying a property, putting a few beds in. There are numerous regulations, licensing requirements, renovations, staffing, so many things to juggle. This is where a mastermind becomes essential. For example, the Round Room Assisted Living Mastermind was founded by three experienced investors, me, Charlie Cameron, and our partner, Luke. We are military veterans, husbands, fathers, and we have designed this mastermind program to help you succeed in this business. We have partnered with an incredible network Network of experts in the assisted living space, lenders, realtors, caregivers, operators, tax professionals, insurance providers, even a company that provides menus and food services for residential assisted living homes. That is just the tip of the iceberg of the network that we've been able to create and the ability to bring these experts in. These experts are teaching these different topics. Once a week, we have calls on every Monday and then every other Saturday, we have calls where experts are coming in and they're teaching these things. That's not to mention the fact that we created a school community that has tons and tons of modules and classrooms that will help you learn the basics about residential assisted living. And we also have a RAL launch framework built into these modules where you can go through these modules and essentially fill out near your entire business plan of what's needed. It is awesome. I so strongly wish that this was available when I was getting started investing. And let's be honest, having a strong support system, a strong network is going to dramatically reduce the time it takes to open a home. Not to mention the fact that in these resources, including a calculator, the live calls, a community of experts and peers who've already been through what you're facing, gosh, it's going to make your journey
journey so much easier and happen so much faster. These experts are going to be sharing best practices, learning from other mistakes, and having an access to those Rolodex of professionals that can cut your timeline by months, if not years. Think about another few months or a few years of that cash flow we talked about earlier. Think of a mastermind as like having a GPS when you're on a road trip. Sure, you can figure it out on your own, but why would you when you could use that GPS, get there way faster, way more efficiently, and ultimately grow so much quicker. Just to wrap this up, the Rao Room offers a comprehensive suite of tools, courses, checklists, renovation guides, marketing strategies, calculators, but it's not just the technical knowledge either that's important. It's about the community. Information is out there. You can find the information you need for any real estate investing niche that, it, that you could possibly want. The information's out there, but the implementation, the community, the accountability, that's what's most important to help you grow so much faster. You'll be able to network with investors, operators, and service providers, all of whom are there to support you. You'll have accountability. As I mentioned, this is crucial when trying to get a business off the Every week, members are stoked for these live calls, these accountability pods. They're discussing everything from property acquisition to staffing to marketing. And when you're stuck, someone in the mastermind has probably been there before you and they can show you the way. That's the magic of being part of a mastermind. And you're never alone. And you're constantly learning from others who are walking that same journey with you. As we wrap up, I want to leave you with this. The best time to get started in residential assisted living is now. The demand is only going to grow. And the sooner you get your foot in the door and you open your residential assisted living home, the better positioned you'll be to meet that demand and continue to grow and scale for. And remember, you don't have to do it alone. Whether you're looking to start your first home or scale your operations or buy your next residential assisted living home, or just looking to learn more and find investment opportunities that are available, joining a mastermind like the Rao Room Assisted Living Mastermind will give you the tools, resources, and community you need to fast track your success. If you want to learn more about the residential assisted living room, the Rao Room Mastermind, visit www theralvroom.com or click the link in the show notes or sign up for a call with me. I'd love to talk to you more about this. I love talking about residential assisted living because I think it is the best opportunity in real estate investing now and for years to come. Join our community of like-minded action takers and let's make a difference in the lives of seniors while achieving financial freedom for ourselves. Thank you so much for taking time to listen to this podcast today. And as always, if you learned something from this or if you think someone else would benefit from this podcast, take a few moments to share this podcast with someone else and please be willing to leave us a five-star rating in your review. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for next week's episode of Physicians and Properties. Hey, real quick, if you're still listening to this, I'm assuming you got value from it. So I need your help specifically. My two-year vision with this podcast is to help 100,000 physicians learn how investing in real estate can give you the freedom to practice medicine and live life how you want. There are two main ways that a podcast grows. One is the ratings and reviews. And the other is word of mouth. If you can please leave me a five-star rating and review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, as well as send this to one to two friends that you think would get value from it, we can reach the physicians that we want to reach. Thanks in advance and talk to you on the next episode. Please note that the information shared on this podcast is for informational purposes only. It should not be considered financial or medical advice. The views expressed on this podcast are those of the host and the guests and do not necessarily reflect the views of the Department of Defense or the United States Air Force.